the first morning actually, not knowing uh, how to move the whole of the unit up here. It was like uh, moving an army into battle for the first time. I mean, it was a convoy of about 25 trucks in the dark. I was in charge of that and uh, frightened, scared shitless. Honestly, we were going to get stuck up the mountain. And I had the producer ring me every five minutes saying, how is it all going? And, well, I was sort of uh, bluffing my way, saying, yes, of course it's going fine. <laughs> As I was passing by uh, trucks that were stranded on the side of the hill. But we got up here eventually. Yeah. Sie sehen es ja schon am Hintergrund, in welcher göttlichen Gegend wir uns befinden. Und wenn man dann die Gelegenheit hat, hier zu sein, hier zu drehen, noch dazu mit zwei Legenden des Motorsports, nämlich Michael Schumacher und Mika Heckingen, ja, ich denke, schöner kann der Tag nicht sein. Wir haben eigentlich immer so die Vorgabe, dass wir sympathisch, authentisch und immer mit einem kleinen Humor hinten raus unsere Geschichten abschließen. Wir hatten natürlich ein Briefing. Und äh, es sollte das Firmatik, also der Allradantrieb von Mercedes, äh, präsentiert werden und natürlich die Überlegenheit. Und dann hatte einer die Idee, ja, kann nicht irgendjemand Michael Schumacher überholen? Ja, weil das wäre ja wirklich, wenn jemand einen Formel-1-Fahrer überholt, dann hatten wir die Idee, sagen wir, ja, wer könnte das denn sein? Lass doch, lass doch Mika Heckinen Schumacher überholen. Und dann haben wir gesagt, ja, das ist super. All right, let's head out. Overtaking Michael is quite a long time ago, so it was nice to do it again in year 2010. Klar, wenn man sich so einen Superstar wie Tarzem holt, da muss man dann auch Vertrauen haben. Er versteht es ja auch, Geschichten in komprimierter Art und Weise auf den Punkt zu bringen. Der Umgang mit den Schauspielern bzw. mit den Helden, das war eine Augenweide, ihm zuzuschauen. God, he's, 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 he's like, a, he's, he's like a, a gentleman. You know, it's, it's absolutely amazing their relationship. I mean, and they're, they're smiling and they're, they're, they're like pussy cats in his hand. Just the pause is important because I like the pause. But as you say, yes, I loved it. Who sticks dog? I love it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, okay. Then I start? Yes. Whenever you see a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I think it helped a lot that we were doing the driving and the talking. If we were doing this in a studio with green screen and then having them talk, those always to me look like those really terrible like chips ads or something. But this you were driving and they seemed to be having fun and they were in their own element. It's important to have people like him to give in energy for the people because days are really long. They are not easy, you know. There is constantly you are fighting against the weather situations. Weather, weather can always just fuck you. As you can see, the snow is falling quite heavily down here, but at the top, it's very, very, very bad. When we heard that the third day was going to be a weather problem, then I just asked to bring a helicopter in. And the helicopter shot me a lot of footage that I needed. Most people just want to know the story. And it's the you know, relationship of macro and micro. You want to be small with the actors, but you want to see that the scale of this thing is big. So just that, and the helicopter provided that. Probably I'll just use one shot of the helicopter in the opening, then you don't need anything else. Tarzan is a genius, I've told you that before. It's 
it's going to be really, really nice commercial, I promise you.